How's it going Eliminators? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to test a starter and also how to disassemble one that looks a little different, so let's get right into it. So I have a riding lawnmower starter here. It came off of a Craftsman. That's a 944-600041. And this starter is no good, but I'm gonna be showing you guys how to test it. It's uh, fairly simple. You're going to need a battery booster or a source of 12 volts. So you could have a battery and then take a pair of jumper cables and put it to that. But I like using an eliminator here because it has an on off switch, makes testing things really simple. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is disassemble the starter because I already know that it's bad. Normally on these starters they have a little ring at the top and the ring goes around and holds your gear and all of your pieces onto the shaft. Now normally what you do is you're going to pry that ring apart, pull it off and you'll be able to slide everything off. If you see one that has this little guy on it, it looks like you could almost, you know, compress that and pull it right out. That's not actually the way to take this apart. You'll notice there's a pin here. I've already started disassembly. So what you want to do is normally this black plastic piece here is covering that hole. What you want to do is just depress your spring and you'll notice that there's a pin going through the shaft. So what we do is you get a little drift pin here. You want to make sure that it's small enough and a hammer. You don't need that big of a hammer. And all you're going to do is tap that pin out and you can see here that I've already got it started. So you're just going to tap that right out and you can pull off all of your pieces because we have to keep in mind that that's a good gear there. I can save that gear and put it on another starter if I ever burn out a gear. So you just want to give that a little tap and it should pop right out. Now that you have that pin out, you can go ahead and slide this piece off. That's your retainer. You can go ahead and take your gear off. Again, these are only made out of a black plastic and as they get worn, you guys can see they start to deform a little bit. They're meant to do that because if this was made out of, let's say, a hardened steel, you could actually do some damage to your internal components or your starter. Now, this starter has been blown just from it being overused. So when you're starting a machine, if your mower doesn't start, let's say it has a carburetor problem, and you're on your machine and you're turning the key and cranking your engine over, don't run your starter for more than five to 10 seconds. So you wanna turn the key, hold it. If it doesn't start, you wanna turn it off, wait a few seconds, and then get back onto it. This thing isn't meant to uh, be drawing too much voltage for long periods of time. So again, that's a good gear, I'm gonna save that. Now we can just go ahead and pull this piece right up and I can show you guys how to test this. So on this starter here, fairly simple. You have a positive hookup here and this starter grounds through the base of the starter. Starter. So what we're going to do is I'm going to come over here to my eliminator. I'm going to take my black negative lead here and I'm going to hook it up to the back base of the starter. Then you're going to take your red positive lead and hook it up to that terminal there. And if it's a 12 volt battery, as soon as you do that, you're going to get the starter to spin or either it won't spin. On this one, I have to flip the switch. So you're going to hear it click. And what should happen is this post right here should start spinning. So you can hear that noise. This thing does spin, but it clicks every now and then. There's some significant internal damage inside of here. And unfortunately, this thing is just pretty much shot. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. So there you go. You guys can hear it. It's This thing's pooched. And just from that short period of time of cranking that starter over, I'm already starting to get a smell of uh, burnt plastic, kind of like a, an electrical smell. And yeah, guys, this thing is just garbage. So I'm going to be end up scrapping that thing to the scrapyard because there is some copper inside of there. And this is, I believe, an aluminum housing. So that's good for something. Again, I'm going to keep those gears. And this is pretty much the same as testing an ATV starter. If you'd like to see me test a little 110cc ATV starter, you can check that video out in the top right of your screen. I'll link it now for you. So that's just a short little video for today. But I figured that uh, that information could be pretty helpful for anybody that has one of those starters or would like to test a starter. Again, like I said, it's really similar to my ATV starter test video that I did on that uh, China Quad, but I figure if somebody's searching for specifically, let's say a Craftsman starter, they can see this video and maybe it'll help them out. If you guys enjoyed the video, think about leaving me a thumbs up. You know, it really helps me out. You can click here to subscribe and you can click over here to watch one of my previous videos. I upload every single week, so be sure to come on back next week. Check the channel out for new content. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.